What's so you quit your job as a school teacher, you built multiple six and seven figure businesses now. How did you make that decision to quit your job? And you know what I told him? Person's a multi-millionaire that I sat down with and I told him that. I said, what do you think about that? First of all, he said, that's a terrible idea. And I said, I was like taken away. I was like, excuse me? Like, I was like offended. Like, excuse me? What do you mean it's a terrible idea? Some of you guys are interested in getting the government contracting and you, you think that this is like the be all end all. My first contract was like $5 an hour I made. Like I didn't make no money in the first two contracts really. You know, like I, I work hard. You guys see me on social media a lot. However, if you don't start seeing me, if you're making under $500,000 a year, you should be ashamed of yourself. Again, these are thoughts from the Cybertruck, right? Thoughts from the Cybertruck with Dr. West, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. I just really want to bless people when it comes to, you know, what I've done in business and, you know, kind of where I'm going. I'm giving you guys my journey, but I'm also giving you guys, you know, steps along the way for you to follow. You know, I'm leaving, I'm leaving the pebbles, if you will, so you can pick them up and follow me. So I was speaking with a, a, a business partner of mine the other day uh, and not, he's not, he's a new business person. I, I say like this, he's, he's currently not full time in business yet, right? He still has his day job. He's a high paid manager. You know, he's making six figures at his day job. And he gave me a call, right? And he said, Wes, you know, you're a successful businessman. You know, air quotes. There's levels to it. So I always think there's next steps for me. He said, you're a successful businessman. What are your thoughts on quitting my job and just going full time entrepreneur? And he said, like, I've heard Grant Cardone say, if you're making under $500,000 a year, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not saying I said that, y'all. Don't, 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 don't hit me up in the comments. But he said, Grant Cardone said, if you're making under 500K a year, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you guys go check that video out and actually go get context of what Grant Cardone was talking about. But he asked me, he said, what's well, so you quit your job as a school teacher, and you built multiple six and seven figure businesses now, like how did you make that decision to quit your job? And you know what I told him? I hope this is blessing you, right? I told him the same thing a mentor of mine, I wouldn't even call it a mentor. This is a, a very successful businessman I, I sat down with one time. I was uh, I was doing network marketing at the time. Some of y'all like, what? He, this person was not in network marketing, but I was like, I was doing network marketing at the time and I was also school teaching. I think I might've been just teaching like two or three years in. And I was like, man, I've signed up a few people here and there. I said, man, I think I'm gonna quit my job as a school teacher and go do this whole network marketing thing full time. If I have more time, I can be more successful. And I said, this, this person's a multi-millionaire that I sat down with and I told him that. I said, what do you think about that? And he was like, Wes, your foundation. And I hope this blesses you guys. He said, first of all, he said, that's a terrible idea. And I said, I, I was like taken away. I was like, excuse me? Like, I was like offended. Like, excuse me? What do you mean it's a terrible idea? I'm like, you a businessman. You worked hard. You sacrificed. Why can't I just quit my job and take the whole summer to focus on this business? He said, he said, you got to work from foundation. And guys, I hope this blesses you. He said, you gotta have foundation. You you can't build a business not knowing when your next meal is coming. He said, how much money do you got in the savings? I was like, I ain't got nothing. He said, exactly. So he said, you can't get in a business, especially if you can do it by choice, where you got no foundation. He said, you got no savings. You got no three months of, of savings or of, of you know capital. You you got nothing. You're just gonna quit your, your salary teaching job to go do this with nothing. He said, I wouldn't recommend that. And I'm telling you guys this because I told my friend the same thing. I said, bro, first of all, you just had a baby. <laughs> so you got a lot more responsibility than me. Uh, you know, you got the whole family with you. You got, a, you got a newborn baby. I said, bro, you want to quit your six figure job. And then again, he wasn't telling me he's going to do that. He was asking for advice. So that's why I'm like, I'm blessing you guys with his knowledge. He said, he wasn't saying he was going to do that. He was just saying, well, how did you make the decision to do it? And I told him, well, honestly, bro, I had a home health care company. He said, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I said, yeah, bro, that home health care company, 
I was paying myself two to three thousand dollars a month. And I also, um, you know, I won like one or two government contracts, but I didn't make no I didn't make any money on my first government contracts. Some of you guys are interested in getting government contracting and you, you think that this is like the be all end all. My first contract was like five dollars an hour. I made like I didn't make no money in the first two contracts, really. And even the second contract what was big. I didn't see that money for another six or seven months. So he's like, well, how do you decide to leave your job? Well, I said, I had my home health care company paying me two or three grand a month. So I said, really? Honestly, bro, I didn't have to teach. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was making 50K a year as a school teacher. So leaving a $50,000 a job to go be a full-time entrepreneur is risky. But I had the home health care company. I had that income. He said, wow, I get it. So it's not about just quit your job Go get it through the mud. Go go grind. I, I promise y'all. Y'all know what's so funny? Shout out to my mentor. Um, another one. I know I got so many mentors. But shout out to Markwell Russell. Um, he said to me a bunch of times, and I thought it was crazy. He said, Wesley. Hey, what's up? It's Dr. Wes here. I hope you are enjoying the content that we got coming at you. Give me two seconds. My students have been awarded over 60 plus million dollars in government contracts. Y'all, I've only been coaching about a year and a half. So listen, if you want to get part of the program, you want to be part of the program, you want to join and find out what we got going on, here's what I got for you. Go to www.thecontractingblueprint.com. We are now opening up spots for phone calls. So what we do is we have a free 45 minute hour phone call with myself and my team members. Now I can't be on every call, so I do have team members that take some of the calls as well, but book a free phone call. We'll answer your questions on government contracting the middleman style, and we will tell you about our program and our coaching platform, and you can make a decision if you're a good fit to work with us, if we're a good fit to work with you. I look forward to speaking with you guys on the phone, and my team looks forward to speaking with you guys as well, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Um, He said to me a bunch of times, and I thought it was crazy. He said, Wesley, the harder you work, the less money you make. I'm gonna say it again. Let, let this stick in. This is this is a key part. Like let's let's literally hone in on this. He said, the harder you work, the less money you make. He said, when you just when you be, learn to uh, work less in your business, you will make more money. I said that does not make sense. I said he tripping. I, he, I, I said, man, look at look at Tim Cook. I'm, I'm in my head. Not to say Tim Cook. Uh, not not Tim Cook. Uh, Steve Jobs. I said, I don't I don't know Steve Jobs. I'm a, Steve Jobs got it through the mud. Gee, Steve Jobs is working all night, late hours. You know, I'm thinking Steve Jobs. You know, Elon Musk. Like these guys are working nonstop. What are you talking about? Work less, make more money. No, it's true. He said, think about it. If the more you got to do to make money, the less money you can make. It th and think about it in any business like that's why I love government contracting because I'm not the one swinging the hammer I'm not the one installing the systems. I'm not the one doing the physical work I'm still working in my business or on my business, but I'm not the one doing the physical work But the person actually doing the most work is making the least amount of money I said whoa And he said i'm gonna give you guys another bonus call this call this bonus training Y'all this is this this is business tips from the cyber truck this going, this going, I hope this is any, any, if you're an entrepreneur and you're watching this, I hope this is going to bless you. He said, Wes, and this is kind of, this is kind of where I'm moving at right now. So y'all, y'all see me doing a lot of content, uh, on YouTube because I enjoy this side of business doing business all the time. I'm not really into that, but you know what made me so he blessed me. He said, Wes, um, real capital investors come people that buy businesses he i forget he told me the person I, I, it was either the name of a person or actual company but he said real people that buy businesses they only or it was might have been a person he said this person only buys businesses if the owner of their company is bored out of his mind they only invest and buy companies if the owner is bored out of his mind think about that y'all a lot of y'all are new entrepreneurs and you you just trying to get it through the mud you just trying to i'm gonna I'm make this amazon thing work i'm gonna make this work i'm spending all late night hours you want to build an income 
anything. I'm not trying to knock anyone's hustle. I want you to build yourself to a thousand dollars a month, five thousand dollars a month, ten thousand dollars a month, a hundred thousand dollars a month. But even after you get to a hundred thousand dollars a month, something in your mind's got to switch gears and you got to become, I need to be bored. Because he said, a bored, a bored business owner is not messing up stuff. He's not there like, oh, let's try this today. Oh, let's try that next month. Oh, let's do this. Oh, I was thinking that. Oh, like a real business owner that's bored, who's like just at the range, golfing, at the country club, you know, on the beach, just kind of sitting there in the lawn chair, falling asleep to a mojito. Those are the business owners you want to work with because guess what? They did real business and they have a system that's working and, you know, I'm just telling you guys where I'm moving at. That's where I'm going. You know, like I, I work hard. You guys see me on social media a lot. However, if you don't start seeing me that often, I think you always will see me on social media. I love posting on social media. But if you guys don't see me, don't think Wes dropped off. Don't say, oh, Wes, let's, you know, he he didn't, yeah, he dropped off. He gone. Wes only, he don't do business no more. No, Wes is on a beach somewhere bored because I was told to be bored. And I want you to be bored. Run a boring business. That's your goal. Hope this blesses you guys. Hey, if you made it to the end, you my people. If you made it to the end, you know what to do. I got a secret. I got a secret code or or or, or letter. And by the way, I'm gonna start blessing you guys. I'm gonna figure out a way how I can like send you guys stuff, and we gonna have some fun. If you made it to the end, uh, be boring. Put in the comments. Uh, be boring or be boring or run a boring business or I can't wait to have a boring like confuse the heck out of people in the comments who came in early didn't make it to the end there's a bunch of comments of like I can't wait to be bored I, I have a boring business put something boring in the comments below and I love to uh, bless you I'm somehow I'm gonna figure out a way to reach out to you guys and have contests and all that stuff we out of here Peace. Do you want to know how to make six and seven figures a year in government contracting? Do you want to know how to actually do the middleman strategy and work with me and my team of coaches? If you do, all you got to do is book a phone call with us. You can book a phone call at www.thecontractingblueprint.com. It should be on the screen somewhere, maybe above me. www.thecontractingblueprint.com is also linked below. So what we'll do is we'll do a free 45 minute to hour phone call. I take some of the phone calls as I can. My team members take the phone calls. And what we'll do is we'll make sure you understand the middleman strategy and it will tell you about our services. If we're a good fit for you, if you're a good fit for us, we hope so. If we are, then we'll, we'll help you guys win your first contract as well. So if you're interested, book a free phone call at the link above or below and I'll see you guys there. All right, peace.